Welcome back to Living 808. Rod Oshima with Diamond Head Plants join us today to talk about a plant that is very popular here in the islands. It's called the Desert Rose. Hello, Rod. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, before we talk about the plants, so, though, mm -hmm. you offer a really wonderful service to uh, folks out there, uh, landscape design. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, it's springtime, and a lot of people are going to stop planting. So, you know, it, I don't want them to select the wrong plants for their situation. So, for the month of April, we're going to be giving free landscape designs. Free landscape free. designs. Yeah. Oh, I like that word. <laughs> now, what does that uh, in include? Well, you know, if you email or text me, uh, I can shoot you some questions to get the ball rolling, so to speak, and then we can sit down and design something for you, something that will fit into your lifestyle, into your ta personal taste, colors, you know, form, that kind of stuff. Okay, that's huge. So is that for both uh, residential and commercial yes, properties? Yes. Okay. Oh, where were you a few years ago when I was redoing my yard? Um, I highly encourage people to get an expert, a professional yes. opinion, because we've moved around a lot. Um, apparently, that's a hobby of mine. <laughs> and I remember, you know, first doing a yard myself, mm -hmm. and we ended up buying plants that don't survive in the climate that we were exactly. living in. Um, and just the whole design of it, you know, I th after it was all done, I hated it, and I wanted to redo it, and it ends up costing you more money, right, in the long right. run. Uh, but the next time, I got a professional involved, and I was so happy I did, because now it's beautiful. I look at it every day, and I'm so thankful that I got an expert involved. Right. So take him up on that offer, guys. <laughs> Free landscape design. Uh, so tell us about the plants you brought in today. Okay, the flowering plants are called Desert Rose. They're very popular. Um, as you can see, they're very colorful, and uh, the flowering period is from February to November. So there's a long period of uh, flowering. Okay. Are you, so I see you have a lot of a variety of desert mm -hmm. rose. So they come in different colors? They come in different colors, and they come in single uh, petals, double and triple petals. So, you know, through hybridization, they've come up with a lot of different variations. Okay, what I care about is how hard is it to take care of? <laughs> well, it's very easy because they're a succulent, so less water, full sun, you know, that's basically all they need. They hardly have any pests, too, so, you know, there's no extra work involved. Okay, wow, this sounds like a great plant to have, yes. right? Less water, I don't have to worry about watering the and, plants. You know, if you have a lanai, you know, that's one of the issues is, you know, too much sun. Mm. And so this, this plant will fit right into it. Okay, great. And then what do you have here? Okay, these are called Euphorbia Francoisei. They're, um... Can you just say that again? Because <laughs> I love the way it sounds. <laughs> Euphorbia Francoisei. <clears throat> um, they're originally from Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. And these have become um, almost extinct. So they're Cites and they're uh, endangered species. But you can hybridize them in, I guess, in captivity, if you want to call it that. Okay. And so you can see the different variations in the leaf. Mm -hmm. And they also form a little trunk. So it's a good potted dish plant, you know, because it's interesting, yeah. Okay, this is the flower. Um, as you can see, it's not as spectacular or um, striking as a desert rose, but, um, you know, it's more for the foliage, the variation in the foliage, the stripes, the pinks, and it mm -hmm. comes in reds also. Thank you, Rod. 